Are we going to the makeout point those other people were at earlier? Huh? Huh? Tough break. They changed the times. Last train's already left. Damn it. Which is why we borrowed these bikes. Gotta Need follow him on Twitter. Plate. You never you guess? communicate these things. <laughs> Easy. You've been acting weird. Like talking about one thing when you're obviously thinking about something else. Yeah, and don't get me started on all that. Pep. It's pretty right, obvious that. what Jesse's always How thinking you know about. Top side? <laughs> Was I talking in my sleep? What else did I say? No, we just figured you wanted to see your parents, that's all. Nailed it, huh? Yep, right on the head. So, seeing as we don't have any family of our own, how about you let us be a part of yours for a bit? You know, spread the wealth. Hmm. Are your parents still around? Huh? Is Biggs no. trying to join the the, the K-pop group along with? Okay then, guess you're all invited. Here's to awkward family reunions. Yeah! Oh, I hope there's a there's a dinner scene. I love awkward dinner scenes. <laughs> it's my favorite thing in the world. Cloud feels like he's tailor made for awkward dinner scenes. I take it you boys have your brand spanking new IDs? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> let's lay down some rubber. It's one thing to, to praise this game for remembering that Cloud is a dork, even though that, that's fallen by the wayside in, in other iterations. Yeah. But when everyone's a dork, <laughs> does it really you know, count? I'm not going plate side for the reason they think I am. Look, you saw the way the reactor went up. It was huge, right? Because of all the Mako. Isn't that what you said? Yeah. That was wishful thinking. Deep down, I know it was my fault. I used a more powerful blasting agent than the directions called for. It had nothing to do with the Mako. Let's say you're right. So what? I'm planning on using a weaker blasting agent this time. But ah, they're gonna have to do even more self-inflicted sabotage. <laughs> is to loot a warehouse owned by Shinra. Shinra? Good luck with that. With your help, we won't need luck. ID scan! Ready? So far, so good. All right, here comes the hard part. Chapter four is a really good chapter, uh, partially because it introduces a whole lot of new music just for the remake, including this song, which is pretty fucking good. Just like that? No need to worry. We've got Cloud, remember? Hey, you do know how to drive, right? Soldiers get mandatory training. Well then, you gonna take my breath away? Make my head spin with your amazing skills? I mainly just know how to parallel park really good, Jesse. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's having fun. How can I not? Pursued by villains, a young couple thrust together by fate, race through the neon street night. I like the idea that Shinra has motorcycle cops, but extreme. <laughs> oh yeah, it's an arms race of cool bikes. Cloud, you you gotta slow down. Fines are doubled in, in construction zones. Cloud, come on. <laughs> Legal force? What? Do you just pull over if they ask nicely? Got a point. As we've seen with other LPs we've done, I'm a big fan of any game that does a big action motorcycle set piece. I'm just looking for the boost zones. Have the cold-eyed mercenaries' hearts suddenly begun to melt? Nope. I won't forget that. <laughs> Wait, is it just me or did we slow down? Just you. Uh, so yeah, you can you can attack both to the left and and right, which when I mm -hmm. when I first played this, it took me a second to realize I could do. swing right. So it's just like, all these guys to the right are invincible. <laughs> yeah, on top of the, the attacking, you can boost, you can you can break, uh, which is actually useful for dodging some attacks. You can block, and uh, you have a special attack on the triangle button that slowly has a cooldown period if, when you use it, but it's a, either a spin attack or if you lock onto enemies, you shoot like a, a, a beam from your sword to hit them from far away. Sword beam, yeah. Sword, sword beams. beams are always good. Are we? On top of just extreme motorcycle cops, there's extreme motor motorcycle cops who just fucking throw grenades around. <laughs> they have guns, but they don't use them that much. They just throw grenades at you. Look at that big ass ramp. 
I'm just trying to figure out how this highway system works when there are no on or off ramps. <laughs> Wait, is, is this the train tunnel? Are you going through the train tunnel? Yep, we're on the train tunnel. Oh, okay. There's still no stations, though, so, like, in general, the point stands. Yeah. You have gone far enough that, like, I don't know what purpose this well, serves. this is, so they're, since they're trying to get up to the, the upper plate, it is a really long distance because it's just the corkscrew going up You're the main pillar. The oh, okay. Yeah, so you have to get all the way up to the top. Fair enough. And there's no stops for, for, like, even maintenance in the middle. It's just one long, unbroken... There might... Yeah, it's just really long. <laughs> yeah, you got these drones, too, that lock onto you with lasers. This is why you should have brought Barrett. You'd be killing these guys way faster. Yeah. To be fair, Jessie also has a gun on her back there. She just doesn't want to stop hugging Cloud to shoot her gun. <laughs> oh, and of course, uh, Biggs over there, he does help out a little bit. He will shoot enemies and do a bit of damage uh, to help you out. While still hugging Wedge. While still so, hugging Wedge. Like, come on. Yeah. It's not impossible, Jessie. <laughs> All right. New best character. Cool. Soldier and Ruth. HQ saying he's less than a few minutes out. Copy. You think it's him? Probably. For more reason to finish this quick. Don't need that kind of trouble. So, first actual soldier we've seen other than Cloud in the game so far. You can kind of tell, while we don't know exactly how long Cloud hasn't been a soldier for, you can see he's missing a lot of the actual uniform. When you leave the soldier program, they take one of your pauldrons. <laughs> yeah. Everyone knows that a, a soldier with one pauldron is a shamed ex-soldier. <laughs> oh, and of course, Figs and Wedge also have their own health bar, but you do not ha really have to worry about them that much. That's an ex-soldier for you. Next to him, we look like kids on trikes. You're damn right to you. You're part of that we too, you know. I guess the Motinox Gust. A robust, if out-of-date, Motinox model. <laughs> it's an early 2000s Toyota Hilux of, uh, of motorcycles. The station? No, head straight for the warehouse. Aww. Our magical ride is almost at an end. Why are you talking like we're not here? Because you're not. Clearly we are. Yeah, this minigame, the, the, the motorcycle thing, yet. existed in the original game, too, uh, and Whoa. honestly Whoa. plays almost exactly the same as the original. <laughs> it, it was probably the best minigame in the original game. Like ridiculous. The, the only real additions in the remake is the ability to block in your, your special attacks, but otherwise it's uh, very similar. I guess they added more enemy types to it, too. Before, it was just cops who liked to bump into you and, and maybe shoot at you, I think, but... Time's up. Break off before he shows. Got me. Huh? What's going on? Oh boy, it's one of the reasons why I love Chapter 4 so much. Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Check this shit out. His motorcycle looks like a, a Art Deco locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> it's one too many tricks. Now that's a Soldier 21st class. Well, hello! Who's this? Too quick for the eye! You cross him, you die! Now, mind if I cut in? Woo! Splendid! I've been looking for a new dance partner! You want Jessie? Party, huh? that's fine. She I'm loves so the Tarantella. <laughs> you talking to me? I most certainly am. Then no. Uh, so terribly sorry! Your words fail to reach my ears, sluggish and slow as they are. What's this guy's deal? The lady's curiosity has been beat. My name is Rose, but you may address me by the more accurate appellation. Speed Demon! Heard that, Mom! <laughs> my ears are attuned to the feminine voice. Ugh, this guy is the worst! Yes, yes, this is the contest I've been waiting for! I love being hit by swords. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. Same shit. Me and a dumbass. Not bad. Roche is basically a combination of young Ocelot and Grey Fox. <laughs> he really wants to show off. He really wants the approval of people he thinks are suitably cool, but also he loves getting hurt. 
chance to come one with the machine like this. <laughs> and he's also a much better cyclist than you. <laughs> he's way fucking better. I can't do that. I wish I could do that in this game. Right? I wish there, was, there are still oh, oh, buttons on this controller that are unused for this part. One of those could easily be a do a trick button. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this wait for Final Fantasy Remake 3. Ah, oh, shit. Finally, the trick button I've been waiting for. Yeah, he's not not too bad. Uh, he has one attack. Uh, he'll run into you to pin you up against the wall, and then he'll charge up his sword and hit you with a really hard attack. Uh, if he does pin you up against the wall, the only way to escape from that, aside from just blocking to reduce the damage, is you gotta hit the brakes. You gotta hit the brakes to get behind him. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in most video games, you don't want to hit the brake button. That's boring. <laughs> That's like blocking. You want to dodge or you want to go faster. But... Roche can go way faster than you if he feels like it, so... Enjoying yourself? Also, the special attack meter, while it does just fill up on its own, when you land attacks on, on people, it, it fills up faster. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, we've made it up to the top, but I still have not seen a train station. <laughs> Midgar's very big. I'm pretty sure this is an express line that only goes from Sector 8 to the Sector 7 slums. Probably, actually, yeah. I mean, there weren't any intermediate stops when we took the train, so yeah, yeah. that is consistent. Yeah. <laughs> Had enough? Don't be absurd. As if I could ever grow tired of your company. Naughty, naughty! Until one of our flames is forever extinguished, our dance will never rest! <laughs> Wait for me! <laughs> I fucking love that he already has this huge, meaty motorcycle and he still has to save room. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, let's push it past the red line! Jesse! Take over. Huh? And now he's told you his favorite movie. <laughs> he would like that movie. <laughs> I mean, where do you think he got the idea for his haircut? <laughs> well, well, well. I do believe this round is yours. <laughs> anyway, my motorcycle's on fire now, Maybe so I'm gonna go home. <laughs> I need to get my other motorcycle. Maybe. <laughs> Roche's haircut feels like he got a mullet and then heard somebody imply that mullets only have a party in the back and he went, no, 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 no. Party in all parts. <laughs> the front, also a party, please. 24-hour party. Yeah. Never not party. Every angle, you gotta see a party happening here. My hair likes to party all the time, party all the time, party all the time. <laughs> What test? Driving. And the driving SAT. I've Ooh. looked up your records. So you don't need a reward? No. Unless it's money, I love that. Got any plorbs? Hmm. <laughs> well, you got one anyway. Oh. You can thank me later. I'll wait. <laughs> Giving me the cold shoulder? Look, I got a face front. I'm not even wearing a helmet. <laughs> I gotta be very careful here. Oh, my hair is great. I don't think it's gonna protect my head. <laughs> I, I switched to a different hair product. It doesn't get that hard anymore. <sighs> We'll go on foot from here. Don't want to draw too much attention to ourselves. By riding your motorcycles up hey, the stairs. Did these things leave a mark? <laughs> <laughs> they got you pretty good. Oh, and I'm running on fumes. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll top you up soon enough. Now let's roll. Wedge drinks gasoline. So back when we were in Sector 7, like Episode 5, uh, there were NPCs we've seen a couple of times of guys working on motorcycles. One of their conversations when we last saw them was, oh, hey, we have a big client who need these bikes. They better be in top condition. They were talking about Vixit Wedge. 
Ah. The whole time they've been working on their bikes. The residential area is just beyond this gate. Mind doing the honors? <sighs> even have to pull the switch? Come on. Biggs and Wedge used to pull the switches. You've got an arm on you. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Two, if you've noticed. <laughs> I feel like maybe we could have taken an elevator instead of the train <laughs> all the way around the city and back. Here we are, the employee housing district, where they put you when your parents work for Shinra. While their reactors were slowly killing the planet, we were living the good life. Never noticed Biggs's uh, uh, culottes. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Just from the fact that there's like a housing area specifically for some Shinra employees makes me think that Shinra probably works on script too. Come here. Ugh, no dice. Someone's playing hard to get. You can get an extra 10% if you take it in Shinra bucks. Yeah. Uh, so when I first played this game and, and I saw like, ooh, there's a basketball court. I wonder if there'll be a basketball mini game. There isn't, but uh, there was an interview with some of the, the directors and stuff on this game. They said, oh yeah, th we were going to do a basketball mini game here, but we <laughs> cut it out because we thought it would be weird that they're trying to be like, not very loud, but Cloud in the middle of the fucking night is just like bouncing a basketball loudly off a backboard. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted that basketball minigame, damn it. Damn it, come on, come on. It'll probably show up later, I'm sure. It's it's fine. Nobody's talking about Ludo narrative dissonance anymore. We can have the basketball minigame. Yes! We all played Spec Ups the line, we decided it's time to stop talking about Ludo narrative dissonance. <laughs> <laughs> it's been eight years now. Come on. Oh, I love to live next to the really big pipe. <laughs> that looms directly above my house, and if it ever falls, I'm dying. Remember when you were a kid and your mom would be like, be sure to be back when the street lamps come on and don't play on the big pipe. <laughs> <laughs> but we always played on the big pipe. <laughs> yeah. I love that even just randomly on, on certain parts of the, the city here, they just plaster really ugly uh, illustrations of the giant Shinra building. Folks here must be living off three or four times what I do. By the way, uh, on this billboard right behind Cloud, <gasps> Stamp supports our troops. <laughs> Fuck Stamp. Get out of here, Stamp. Get out stamp. of here, Stamp. You're a bad dog. The terrible stamp dog. Stamp is a bad dog. <laughs> God. Fucking Stamp supports our troops. <laughs> Get out of here. Uh, oh, also, there's this little... There's a couple of these... Steal it. Steal the bike. It's a cool-looking bike. Uh, there's a couple of these bikes around. These are actually uh, paying homage to Moogles, which... Haven't shown up uh, naturally in this in this game yet, but Moogles are little guys that appear in a lot of the Final Fantasies. They usually look like that. Sometimes they look a little different. Sometimes they're like little fairy-like creatures. Sometimes they're merchant class people. Sometimes they're mailmen. <laughs> There's a lot of mailmen Moogles. And sometimes they're children's bicycles. <laughs> sometimes you're just little bear buddies that live in caves and become your party members like in Final Fantasy VI. That one's, that's pretty good Moogle. That Moogle's whole deal in that game is that he knows how to dance, and he fights by dancing. It's pretty good. Well, when, when's the game where you get to uh, recruit a chocobo? Mm, man, no main party member chocobos yet. You could tame them in tactics and have them run around and fight with you. And Intelligent, talking, chocobo mm, party member. 
Not yet. The closest you get are the spin-off games Chocobo's Dungeon, <laughs> which are dungeon crawlers where you're a Chocobo, and they can talk, if I remember correctly. Ah, uh, but they only speak Chocobese. Aw. Figures. Still leaves the lights on every night for the girl who only comes home once every other blue moon. Oh no, they just fucking Who's love trick-or-treaters. <laughs> like that. Think she'll make us pizza? Her Midgar special? She's quite the cook. Quick to whip up finger-licking food even if you drop by in the dead of night. And she loves guests who ask for seconds or thirds. Sounds like Wedge is her favorite. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, let's head in. Cloud, you know what to do. Stab you your mom. Right Got the it. Over there? Uh, okay. It's a shame you won't get to try the Midgar special. You would have really liked it. Can you just bring me a slice? Please? 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 Look, all I've had are two alcoholic drinks. I have had no solid food this whole time. <laughs> Frankly, a little woozy over here. I've been doing backflips. <laughs> I've been subsisting entirely on potions. Please. I need solid food. With your help, we won't need luck. You'll take on just about any job, right? Well, I need you to rob my house. Think you can do that for me? Huh. <sighs> By the way, this game has some great-looking rendered cats. The coast is clear. The signal will be obvious. <sighs> Those are good cats. The, the cats in this game look fucking incredible, man. Look at him. Once the lights come on, it's go time. He's not your partner in crime. He's a cat. What are you doing, Cloud? The cats clearly know the plan. They just, like, gave Cloud his instructions via telepathy. <laughs> uh, apparently, cat telepathy sounds a lot like Jesse. Yeah. But. Okay, I guess this cat has will open the door for me or something? <laughs> Come on. What? Okay, he's getting the lock picks or something. He'll be back. I mean, that's what happens when, uh, your neighborhood is also home to Macavity. <laughs> Macavity! Don't take the one in front of you. You want the room on the right. That's where you'll find it. I just hope there's a skimble shank somewhere in this whole thing. <laughs> He's the best. There's, He's the best one. There's enough railway to go around. It's true! Right? There's gotta be one! This will always be your home. So, how's practice going? It's going... You get so fixated, lose sight of things. That's why I'm glad you've got a rock like this. Always there, taking up space. Hey. <laughs> Raised on praise, I see. So yeah, let's find uh, Jesse's like trophies from high school. <laughs> Fantastic as always, Mrs. R. I always keep enough ingredients on hand to make extra. She made that pizza really fast. <laughs> There's probably like some horse trophies. Spelling bee. Oh, yeah. You know. <laughs> she on the bowling team, maybe? Let's mm. find out. I'm thinking bowling or gymnastics. Kitchen, so don't even bother being quiet. There's no way she'll ever hear you. Dad'll be in there, but it's okay. He's fucking chill. <laughs> Dad will want to smoke weed with you. It's up to you, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to grab his Shinra ID card. And yeah, I know I should do it myself, but... <laughs> but I honestly don't think I'm up to it. Just do this for me, okay? So yeah, we could just grab that ID right ahead, right away, but uh, that, that whole trophy idea you had is a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't it. Well, what is it then? Hmm. Yeah, we got we got some family photos here. Jesse and her family when she's younger. Being a mechanic in the bottom right, I think. Mm -hmm. Summoning the glory of the Lord. Yeah. Jesse. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, dude. You nailed it. <laughs> Finally honed detective instincts. <laughs> Look, he's a merc. He's never said anything about being smart. <laughs> Paper. 
<laughs> What's this? Hell yes, you read that letter. Dear mom and dad, sorry for not getting in touch sooner, but I'm working at the Gold Saucer as an actress now. It wasn't easy, and I had a lot of help from people along the way. But I managed to land a starring role and closed our two tickets to my play. Looking forward to seeing you both there. Jesse Raspberry as the princess? I got the titular role in Buried Child. <laughs> uh, yeah, that picture frame Cloud picked up was Jesse in like her her outfit for that play. <laughs> yeah. My dad, he was a maintenance supervisor at the reactor. Looks like the reactor was in space. Hmm. Hmm. Thanks. Sorry, I don't know if you can hear me, but are you are you related to the Emmerichs in any way? You look just familiar <laughs> enough to me that I'm something in my brain's getting. No, uh, never mind. I don't know. It, it's better not to know because can you imagine looking at Jesse the same way? <laughs> oh no. Nice hat, Jesse's mom. <laughs> and a matching umbrella. Mmm, nice. I'll take another one, please. Come on, just like just throw one slice out the window while her mom <laughs> isn't looking. Like, I'll pick it up off the ground. This fucking Ninja Turtles ass world where everybody's all about pizza <laughs> all the time. No matter what else is happening. It's just what happens when everyone constantly refers to the city you live in as a pizza. Mission accomplished. When are you going to give up on the gold saucer? How long has it been since you even performed? Uh... A lot of people really rely on Jesse. As a stagehand though, right? You can be one of those anywhere. So why not come home and get a job at the Sector 8 Theater? Uh, I'll think about it. You know, I'd really love to stay and chat, but we gotta go. So soon? Yeah, well, Eventually they're gonna break out from the, uh, under the thumb of Mayor Domino now? and discover the joys <laughs> so, of Pizza Hut. <laughs> sure I can't tell you and then that more. opens the door for the Code Geese uh, crossover. Oh, right Jesus, there. no. What? <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm doing it for you guys. You don't want me going to work on an empty stomach. I'm planning on using a weaker blasting agent this time. Fuck that. Since hmm? I can't get in touch with my Nukem. supplier, our only option is to loot a warehouse owned by Shinra. Hey there. This it? <laughs> oh no, you lost it. Now come Cloud, Cloud this is my dad's library card. I'm gonna use this to sneak into the 7 6 annex. Uh, all right, let's get to it. Sorry, but you're staying outside. Only I know what to steal from where, so it's gotta be me who goes in. So. We came all this way just to eat pizza? Hell yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. We can let you off that easy. You're gonna earn every slice helping Cloud. Just do the thing where you draw everyone's attention away, like you did at my parents. What's the word again? Maybe I'm more nervous than I thought. Diversion. Yeah, that. Nice one, military man. So what? Does this mean we're gonna ask some Shinra folks out to dinner? Hell yes. Uh, Hell yes. You know damn. Well I'm begging you any mean. of you. You don't even have to pay me in guild. Just uh, give me pizza. We make sure I'm starving. The outside. Yeah. Exactly. I can't eat Couldn't materia. Any better? When you see a flare go up, that's your cue. Rush the front gates and make for the warehouse plaza. The, the plan is for the raise, three of us to go to buy. some some hookup bars uh, and you know, distract all of the, the Shinra guards. <laughs> <laughs> we all need to find How dates immediately. Many, many dates. Not too much. I'll be in and out. I'll send up another flare when I'm done. We rendezvous in the vacant lot up ahead. Hold on. How are we supposed to get back to the slums? Wait for the first train? Drill no. a hole in the floor I and want repel. To be back before that. Don't worry. I have something worked out. Now, let's get this done. <laughs> well, that diversion's not gonna create itself. Jesse's dad was in there, right? Yeah. 
Mako poisoning. <sighs> Happened while Jesse was doing a show with the Gold Saucer. And that's uh, why you should support you your children by going to see all their performances. <laughs> yep. Jessie it could save your life. To be an actress. Worked her ass off for years. Until finally she caught a break. Top billing. Parents were thrilled. And then, right before opening night, her dad had an accident. Collapsed from overwork. And in the worst possible place, Mako storage. Lay there half a day before someone found him. He and waves hello like to the kitties. Mm -hmm. Wedge loves cats. Whatsoever. And that's what got her into planetology. And led her to seek out Avalanche. How far we've come. Jesse's got a theory about it. Thinks her dad's spirit is stuck now. Between his body and the heart of the planet. So if we don't shut down the reactors soon, you'll get caught up in the flow and poof. <laughs> What's so funny? Just that I understand how you feel. Unlike most of the time. I see. So yeah, that, that's the first mention of planetology. It's not a big thing in this game, but you will hear a bit more about that. You know, the science of planet. The science of planet. Mako's the essence of life itself. Of memory and hope. It's not something you burn in a reactor just to keep the lights on. Hell no. Oh, uh, don't tell Jessie about this little chat, okay? When she gets pissed, ooh, she gets punchy. Well, no promises. She has an unfair He's advantage when things get punchy with the us. full armor. <laughs> not my problem. This guy. Hey! It's the lot Jesse was talking about. We run into here when we've got what we came for. Gotta stay hidden. Wait for the signal. It's so quiet. Just need to get past this gate. Wait. Where are the guards? here and I don't think it was Jesse this had better not get in the way of our plans it won't <laughs> don't see anyone what the hell happened hey man the plaza's that way warehouses are further in Jesse's supposed to be circling around from the back right no need for us to rush Let's scout it out first. I can handle this solo. What? Yeah, you aren't even full party members. Come on. Yeah. Don't be a jackass. You don't have attack gauges. No. Don't expect me to save you. If you need to check your gear, now's the time. Give the word when you're good to go. You can use that vending machine over there to stock up. Oh, I know all about vending machines, bro. Okay, maybe not everything. Guess there's a training center too. Could go a few rounds before the main event. Man, I get Jesse's really sneaking around back as we nervous. speak. Might want to sit on that bench for a few hours. <laughs> Let's take a load off. But yeah, some vending machines will sell uh, some some items uh, on sale, uh, but only a certain amount. So like the ether, there's only one you can buy at a discount before it goes back to normal price. But um, yeah, so with. Big Wedge and, and Jesse, uh, just just talking about changes from the original game. Their character designs are almost all exactly the same as the original game, except the probably the mo biggest difference is that they made Bigs way hunkier. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, you know, obviously he had way less, you know, definition to his character model in the original game and stuff. But yeah, just like no beard, and like if you look at his concept art, he was just kind of like. I don't know, just kind of like a dude, a little bit less, <laughs> uh, I don't know, like the, the concept art for those three characters specifically was also in a different style than a lot of the other concept art. They were drawn a lot more cartoony and like kind of like chibi. <laughs> so it, it's really funny to see all of them like up to the same standards as the main cast and also oh, suddenly being hilariously handsome. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Yeah, they put this little training center place just so that you can constantly respawn these things so that in case you think you're too weak to do the upcoming fight, you can always just grind this place over and over again. Ah. There's, there's a good amount of uh, quality of life things like that throughout the game where they, they make sure that if you're in a place, uh, a point of no return where there is a big fight coming up, that you'll have some way of leveling up or doing something to make the fight easier if you're mm -hmm, mm -hmm. having too much too much trouble with it. But then again, they balance this game well enough that you don't ever really need to grind. Like, if you just go straight through the game and do at least some of the side quests, you're probably going to be fine. When you leave something at home or just need a bite to eat, vending machines can be real lifesavers. <laughs> I know about the Wedge. concept, at least. <laughs> I have seen a Wedge. vending machine. Wedge works for the vending machine council. Oh, man. All this avalanche stuff is just a side hustle. Yeah, he specifically joined avalanche just to spread the word of vending machines to everyone in it. Any, basically, anytime you're going up against Shinra, you always want some type of fire and lightning element on mm -hmm. you because it's always soldiers and robots. That's what Shinra's all about. <laughs> Every once in a while, you might get something else, but a lot of soldiers and robots. Um, and yeah, we're keeping the first strike uh, materia on. It's not going to be super useful for this, just because it's one big fight, so we're only going to get that one boost right at the start of the fight to our ATB gauge. But uh, there's just mm -hmm. a lot of AP to get here, so... <laughs> Excuse me, ability P. Remind me, you've got summoning materia. Oh, I got it. I think There's you no need a sorb. No, wait, groups. orb. It's a red orb. Yeah, but so I was thinking about uh, uh, the orbs when I was <laughs> okay. walking the, uh, the dog, time. and I've realized that plorb works so well because it's the last sound like of purple mm. mixed with orb. So it I does? think dorb sounds Near better than rorb. First, we climb high enough to get a vantage point, then we go to town on him. Hey. Uh. So, what did you want to talk about? When spring comes, I'm leaving town. I'm going to Midgar. They have the best hot topics there. Mm. Should have figured. All the guys are leaving. Yeah, because they have the best wallet chains. But but I'm not like them. I'm not going just to look for work. I'm going to look for even wider jeans. <laughs> the widest jeans. I'm going to be a soldier. The best of the best. Like Sephiroth. The great war hero, huh? Hmm. Isn't it pretty hard to become a soldier? Yeah. So I won't be back for a long time. Guess not. Think you'll be in the papers? If I, I become I'll a soldier try. later on, maybe I'll get to be Sephiroth's neighbor or something. I'm already practicing my parallel parking. I hear that's really important. Just promise me one thing. When we're older and you're a famous soldier, if I'm ever trapped or in trouble, promise you'll come and save me. I will, with my new found glory. Huh? That's what heroes do. They save people. Please? Just once. Uh... Come on, promise me. Fine. I promise. And that was the first night the Cloud Strife had a wine cooler. <sighs> Wait a minute. My, my brain is connecting two separate events together to form a conclusion! <laughs> I heard you're having second thoughts. I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference. But not like this. I just... I feel trapped. That's the signal! Hey, wait, time to fuck some shit up. All according to plan. Let's go. Right. Yeah! Just 
go through the mist gate. Okay. <laughs> I don't see any intruders. Maybe they went home. Oh, hey, over there. It's nice to know that everyone is an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Target, target sight. Light him up. And that's why sword's so big. Obviously. Obviously. If only there was a combat mechanic where if you were blocking bullets with your sword, they would ricochet and hit dudes. That'd be fun. Ooh, I also want Cloud to be a Jedi. <laughs> Give up? Kill the bastard! They're up there too! Body more troops! There's a lots of like low health soldiers here, so a uh, triple slash is really good for this part. A uh, funny sentiment I've seen with this game and some other more recent JRPGs, especially like Final Fantasy XV, which, you know, that game and this game have, like, kind of a more realistic graphical style, but it's still definitely stylized and looks like an anime. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I've seen a lot of people, at least on the internet, who haven't really played these games or other JRPGs, and they go like, wow, why is this so, like, anime? <laughs> or people who played the original seven and haven't played it since the original like the original first came out they're like why is it so anime because for some reason like those older graphics made people think it wasn't anime or something like i don't know i look at this game and the way all the characters act the way the, the story the look of everything it's just like this is like a 90s anime this is a fucking cartoon everybody <laughs> oh you gotta be shitting me you can probably tell because of the way they're fighting for the blood of the planet, which is the accumulated hopes of humanity. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a bit more time and I got you. Give it up! <laughs> Putting up a fight, huh? Yeah, we got these uh, missile launchers up top. Too far away for us to hit it, even with magic. So you gotta wait for mm -hmm. uh, for Bigs to to fuck him up for you. Calling fire! Or you should have just had Barrett come. Yep. And Bigs don't just... understand why you're going anywhere without your best biggest boy. I know. And I love that Bigs doesn't like put a bomb on them or sabotage them. He just fucking kicks them over the ledge. <laughs> That's all it takes. They weren't bolted down or anything. This fight hurts. Go ahead for me. <laughs> any any type of missile attack in this game, on top of it doing a decent amount of damage, it'll, it can stun you out of your attacks and stuff. Something funny with the shock troopers, I didn't know until I record this bit. They're not, like, they're weak to fire, but if you stagger these guys with a fire spell, mm -hmm. they get, like, a really goofy animation where they run around while they're on fire. It's really funny looking. Look at this guy. <laughs> Put his arms up and, like, fucking flopping. <laughs> And a grenade just teleported oh, into your yeah. pocket from killing that guy. Hell yeah. No, they're going to eat all your cat friends if they follow you. <laughs> they can. They really can. Yeah. So it's not subtitled, but right when you get back into the gameplay, you, in, in a very distant voice, you can hear Wedge shout, Ah, my beautiful butt. <laughs> I wish you could hear it better. Uh, I'm so glad that Cloud is fighting for vengeance to, to defend the honor of Wedge's beautiful butt. <laughs> yeah, I love that he's actually running around the battlefield the whole time you're fighting no escape. with this trail of dogs behind him. Don't eat me! Please don't eat me! It's dark, special. Don't fail me now! <laughs> Powered by pizza. <laughs> Think I... Ran off the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Hell of a show, man. If only the ladies loved you that much. I'm glad someone's enjoying themselves. It's true. 
Wedge dreams one day of having a woman take a bite of his beautiful butt. <laughs> That's all he has, he's ever wanted. <laughs> Of course they store mechs here. You ready? Hell yeah! More than you know! Look what I found! Let's give these jerks a taste of their own medicine! <laughs> I don't think they're even licensed to practice medicine. <laughs> Uh, so here's the tutorial for summons. Um, each party member can only have one summoning materia on them. You can't summon them whenever. That when you're fighting really strong enemies or you're in a, a tough fight for a long time, that summon gauge on the right will appear. It. And once it's filled up, then you have a chance to, to summon whatever guy you got on you. Mm -hmm. Also, Wedge does fight, help you fight in this. He's like a temporary party member for this. Nice. Uh, he has one ability. He'll throw down mines for you, and if you lead robots into them, they'll get stunned by them, and it fills up their stagger gauge a lot. Nice. But hey, it's time to summon Ifrit, or Ifrit, however you say it. You're up. <laughs> I wish I could be that chill when talking to a flame demon. <laughs> So yeah, uh, summons are basically temporary party members. They don't have health, they can't die. Enemies won't even try to attack them. They're invincible. Um, but they will, they have their own AI that'll t they'll just randomly attack guys for you with a bunch of different attacks. Um, but you can also spend your own ATB charges to give them commands to use special abilities. Ooh. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, that sounds like the thing you should do. Yeah. Uh, so, of course, all of his attacks are of the fire element. Uh, he can dash through people, he can spit fire on people and cast basic fire spells. Um, he's got two abilities. One costs two ATB gauges, which is a big AoE fire plume that does a lot of damage. He can hit multiple enemies if they're grouped up. And also, summons are only around for a period of time, like... There's that gauge on the right that is slowly draining, so once mm -hmm. that empties, the summons leave. But when summons leave, they just, they just don't disappear. Before they leave, they do a big ultimate attack that does a ton of damage, <laughs> so that's pretty fun. Uh, yeah, he also has Crimson Die, which is just a, a weaker attack that only costs one, one gauge. It can also hit enemies if they're grouped up. For a while... A while, especially like the PS1 and PS2 era, summons were basically um, tech demos. <laughs> they were they were just stronger magic spells that cost more MP to cast, mm -hmm. but they were always associated with a big um, cinematic, fully rendered 3D thing that looked really cool, and it was just a tech demo go like, look what we could do with real-time graphics now. They still kind of keep that in spirit with these ultimate attacks, though. They look really cool. Get some rest. Now that's what I call teamwork. <laughs> Stay where you are. <laughs> well, shit. All right, assholes, show me your hands. <laughs> He's not excited to see you. He just heard a really good joke <laughs> on the way here. Like, really good. Hmm. You know what I want. A second dance. Just the two of us. Also, your auto insurance information. I'm hoping my insurance covers damage from swords. You turned the key. The engine roars with excitement. It hungers to be set free! Fall back. Uh, right. Uh, 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 the pizza's the pizza's coming out. Here oh, it comes. No. It's been a long time since I fought a duel out of the saddle. But for all the miles on the clock. Huh, so, so the the leather tummy uh, is is 
Also a uniform piece. Uh -huh. so, all soldiers get a leather tummy. I'm just as fast as I ever was. At last, a long-awaited dance begins. Here's to a fair fight, my what friend. A... I love that he's so honorable that he throws an elixir to give you a full heal at the start. Mm -hmm. It's really good. All right, so Roche, uh, I love that when you, you scan him here, right. the little paragraph about him. So he's a third class soldier, not as good as Cloud, oh, but oh. Uh, he's ostracized by many in the organization because he's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> he just loves doing tricks and will do tricks off of his, his co-workers and everyone hates him for it. Yeah, this dude does not flinch from any of your attacks. Mm -hmm. He'll just attack through everything you do. He has a ton of abilities. Oh my, he's got all of the plorbs. He's got all of the different types of plorbs. Uh, yeah, he has second tier uh, spells as well as uh, uh, other attacks uh, that are all magic based. Yeah, he. If he gets any of his magic attacks in without you blocking, he can take out like half of your health sometimes. <laughs> he, he is very strong, uh, very high magic stat. But what you want to do is. Um, you know, he do normally doesn't flinch from any of your, your attacks or anything, but if you hit him with enough basic attacks and block his attacks, he'll eventually become, uh, like, he'll get put off guard, and then he'll flinch, and you can eventually get him pressured and then staggered that way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you really want to do a lot of blocking with this guy, though, just because his basic attacks make you flinch very easily, and then he'll follow up with the magic a lot of the time. <laughs> Of course, he's just Come a man, on. so he's weak to fire, like most men are. <laughs> I have found that in my experience, yes. <laughs> yeah, he can dodge your attacks, too. Really? <laughs> yeah, even when you block a tier 2 spell, it still does a little over 300 damage, so <laughs> not blocking that is like six or 700. There we go. Uh -huh. Light his ass up. Also, while fighting enemies earlier, we got enough uh, ability P to level up our fire materials, so now we have tier 2 spells for that. So, Ooh. fire's only 4 MP. Uh, Fyra is more than double that, 10 MP, but it does a good amount more damage. It's like one and a half times or something like that. So, combine that with him being weak to it and staggered. Almost 2,000 damage. Nice. You've hit him so hard, he turned into a cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> I told you we were gonna push it past the red line! Oh, is that the train you were on? The red line connects the 74 yeah. slums to... Okay. <laughs> <Keep your> company. <laughs> so yeah, with his second phase, he gets access to more attacks. Um, a little easier to parry in the second phase, because he, he likes to do more physical attacks and magic now, but... Burn. Yeah, I just really like Roche's fight. It's not super difficult or anything, but just with the way you have to handle him with the, the blocking a lot of his stuff, it even though it's real time, it feels like a turn-based fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There is a rhythm to it that way, yeah. Yeah. Once more! Ah! Marvelous! Ah! Here we go. In the blink of the and of course, he still has a lot of health left, but we have a limit break. Like, he's done. Hey. <laughs> he's done. Goodbye. You're as good as dead. Both you and your demon friend have finishing moves. <laughs> Satisfied? <laughs> With such fleeting pleasure. Hardly. Then why are you walking funny? <laughs> you gotta get off that motorcycle more often, dude. There are higher heights to which you and I can still soar. Wait, am I am I still under arrest? Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. 
If I beat the boss, everyone would just give up. Fuck. Okay, boys. Give them everything you more got. robots. Come on. My demon friend's tired. He has to go live back in his in his door or whatever, like a Pokemon. <laughs> And this is how soldiers tender their resignation. This is actually the official process. Yeah, he's going to go back to HQ and he's going to take his right shoulder pauldron and just relinquish it, put it on the desk. I quit. We really must do this again. And have my sleeves while I'm at it. Yeah. Until then, try not to die. I'll see you on the road, my friend. The sign of a disgraced soldier, no sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> Sephiroth has extra sleeves. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. I love that their idea to make uh, a big hunk here is just make him Charlie Sheen in capri pants. Uh huh. <laughs> it's so good. Let's go. Right. <laughs> Run! Run while you can! It's okay, the pizza will protect me. <laughs> it's a big stat boost. Friendly! Friendly! Stand down! Your team shouldn't be here. Glad yours is. Come here. All this just to steal a less explosive explosive. <laughs> yep. Wedge will be fine, but you won't be if they start asking questions. And who are they? First guests to the party, another avalanche cell. Our holier-than-thou friends from the old guard. <laughs> it's always their way or the highway. Lately, they've been a real pain in the ass. So tired of all Till these now. Twitter beefs and infighting. <laughs> so then why are they here? Beats me. We've been on the outs ever since our cell got labeled too extreme. Though they're the ones running around with mil-spec gear. Word is, they cut a deal with Wu-Tai. Promised them all the materia in Midgar, apparently. Think there's any truth to that? Why don't you ask them? You tell me. Sometimes, I think we're the only ones who've realized the war's over. Gotta get away from these guys. All they're gonna do is start talking about that we're not leftist enough somehow, or that we're doing it wrong. You see, Cloud, the difference between okay. our two cells Mission is that complete. our favorite writer is a Let's different dead Frenchman, German, or Russian than <laughs> their favorite writer. It's a big point of contention. It's a lot of drama. Looking a lot more crowded now. Security's out in force. Uh, just what we need. Hostile forces have breached the 76 Annex and learned. So, are we not gonna wait for Wedge? If we stuck around or went back, he'd only get upset. Why is that? Because a soldier wouldn't understand. I'll tell him you're worried about him, though. Many of our citizens have already been disturbed by the alarm. The way you honor Wedge is by going home and feeding his cats. Mm hmm. Roadblocks included. Contain the situation. You made it! Over here! <laughs> okay! Form up! Let's go! <laughs> Could you have been any louder? I mean, it made my job a lot oh, easier. Oh, you're welcome but... then. I'm sorry for Where's doing West? so well. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was close. We'll go get him. <laughs> hey, buddy. How you doing? Come on. Not my finest hour. You get hit? Just swinged, I think. Oh, shot! Really? Let me see. Are we seriously doing this here? That's... wow. It really is a beautiful pun. You guys are the worst. 
Huh? Your ass is fine. Yeah, it is. Maybe singed, but the only casualty is your underwear. This is like a bruise or a mild burn at worst. <gasps> now that was a gunshot. <laughs> Is that a smile I spy? Hmm? It's not safe here. We should I go. love that the first genuine <laughs> smile and chuckle you get out of Cloud oh, yeah. is him watching uh, an acquaintance of his get his ass spanked. <laughs> That's the <laughs> first thing that is is so, makes him like just a bit of levity for him. He likes that. It, <laughs> It's funny because he's hurt. <laughs> Nobody look! Nobody look! Thank God for those helmets that get rid of their peripheral vision. I'm just a, a Machinra fence inspector, making sure this fence is up to spec. Man, I can't believe HQ was running an op tonight of all nights. Coincidence? That are a bad omen. If they're ramping up for something, it could get messy. Add it to the pile of complications to think about. I heard someone say it was an attack. Hey, it was those terrorists. So yeah, there's been a couple other times earlier in the game where there's been some allusions to the fact that there's a, more to Avalanche than just the people we're working with. Mm -hmm. uh, all the way back in the first episode, Jesse remarked how, you know, it was a pity no one else from command could that could uh would talk to them, aside from the one person that gave him passcodes to the reactor. Ma'am, please calm down. I need you to go back inside. Leave that there. woman and her and husband alone. <laughs> her husband is it's the broom. Blue tie, isn't it? Let me get my gun. I'll teach him to mess with Midgar. Don't you worry about me. I killed myself a platoon's worth of them bastards back in the war. Yes. Thank you for your service. The now, war was three the years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the end of the war is still a fairly recent thing. Like, the, the exact <laughs> amount of time isn't specified in this game, but it wasn't too long ago that the war ended. I mean, who knows? Maybe it was like a 50-year-long war or something. Right. This is it. Through here and we're home free. Where exactly are we going? When we get there, you'll know. Now that I've got my blasting agent, we should have everything we need for our next mission. Sure hope so. Yeah, me too. For your dad's sake. Hey, what the hell, man? Huh? I love that they changed uh, uh, Wedge's animations. <laughs> yeah. Really, huh? Cloud said that? Sure did. Wants a whole pie to himself. Isn't that right? That's... that's right. Yeah, I'm gonna slice it with my cross slash. Well, okay then. <laughs> Obliterate the pizza. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Super duper awesome. <sighs> just just sends pizza debris everywhere. It's on the ceiling, all over the walls. Yeah, hey, uh, Jesse, your parents wanted an open floor plan, right? <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, also, yeah, easy materia to miss if you're just following your buddies, but uh, this is a good one to get. This is a material that lets you uh, revive your party members Ooh. without having to use a uh, phoenix downs or anything. It's pretty good. The necromancy norp. Yeah. Yeah, we can look down and see all the slums below us. Yeah, you don't need an exfil plan. You need rope. Yeah. That's, you can also see right there is one of the, the giant lamps they had to light up the city at night. <laughs> also, probably during the day, honestly. There's still a lot yeah. of shade there. They probably have to turn those on during the day. Yeah, this is this is like the little gap between two of the sectors. Should be somewhere around here. Bingo. Mm -hmm. I have figured my dad got it wrong, but nope. They're here just like he said. Parachutes? Mm -hmm. Huh? What do you mean, half figured? 50 50 is pretty good odds if you ask me. Hmm. <laughs> this is w gonna be wait, fun. Uh, don't strap uh, me to Jesse, don't strap me to Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. I really appreciate you coming all this way with me. And like I said before, I'd be grateful if you kept this between I us. I love the I idea finished. of wearing Cloud as a backpack. <laughs> That's the best. 
Okay, who's ready to fly? Me, me! Hey, Cloud, you let him down gently, all right? Yep. Wait, I almost forgot. One more thing. The ripcord is the orange Stop one. It. <laughs> what the hell are you trying to... <laughs> <laughs> Easy, you'll make us fall. Not if you do first. <sighs> Swing by my place after, so I can pay you in full. Everyone else can hear that. They're strapped to you. <laughs> Jesse, please. A little bit of discretion. I'm a little curious why they're worried about falling when falling is the plan. Wait! <laughs> Give me a minute! No. Why you have to be such a hard ass, bro? I ain't your bro. <laughs> <laughs> So much for the stealth part of the mission. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, I wish I could have done more. Just got hurt. You did enough. You took one for the team. Be proud. Why don't you just focus on, yeah. on the mines thrown at the sweeper's feet? Yeah, that was helpful too, honestly. Feels like we're flying high these days. <laughs> now, more than ever. He's a keeper, all right. Yeah, together we can take on the world. Uh, so for extras, during the motorcycle bit, right at the end, you get that little cutscene with Jesse where she she kisses Cloud on the cheek. That cutscene changes depending on how much health you have remaining. You passed the test. So this is if you have like at what least test? half of your health. Driving. Did more than just pass. Not really. You made it by the skin of your teeth, if we're being honest. Whatever. Ah, I bet you held back because I was with you. Didn't want you to fall. So now I'm too weak to stay on a bike? Huh? Huh? There's no seatbelts. It's true. Just hold on tight, will you? <sighs> what? I might be falling after all. Mm -hmm. Psych? I don't know how to deal with this. <laughs> I just don't, <laughs> don't know what this means. <laughs> oh. Oh, would you look at that? the end of the ride. Maybe I should ask Barrett for advice. This is if you fuck up really bad. You failed the test. <laughs> what test? <laughs> driving. You fucking suck, my I'm dude. I'm great at driving. <laughs> great at scaring your passengers, more like. Not used to having any. Maybe you should just let me drive. Nope. I'll take one for the team and be your back warmer again. Huh? Oh, I like all these different cutscenes and how Jesse, no matter how bad you fuck up, is still clinging to Cloud. And it's just like, even if Cloud was like a time traveler, he's just like, I, I, there's no timeline where she doesn't do this. <laughs> no matter what I do, she still likes me. What, what does it mean? What is what happening? Does it mean? What is happening? Help me. 